845 in St. Louis. Through the magic of radio and through the magic of Skype, we're going to check in with Dr. Jeffrey Lowell, who is live in Djibouti City in Djibouti. Good morning and welcome back to the show, Dr. Jeffrey Lowell. Hey, McGraw. Hey, Kelly. How you doing? Hi, doctor. Uh, you are normally our medical correspondent on a weekly basis, but you have been uh, out of the country for a while. Tell people uh, what's going on, how long you've been there, and how long, when, when are you coming back? Uh, hello, everybody. Um, greetings from Camp Lemonade, which is in Djibouti, Horn of Africa, which is in uh, East Africa. We're a little bit north of Somalia, uh, just across the Gulf of Aden from Yemen. Uh, uh, I've been uh, here, I left home around December 27th and coming home in August, um, part of a Navy contingent that is uh, supporting uh, U.S. military uh, activities here in uh, the Horn of Africa. Uh, we're all located here at uh, Camp Lemonet, which is the only enduring uh, U.S. medical base in Africa. How many soldiers are you there with? Well, it's a joint base. We have soldiers, sailors, uh, airmen, and marine. I'm in the Navy, so uh, there's about four to five thousand here. It kind of comes and goes depending on um, you know the activities of right. the day and the week. It, this seems like an awfully long de de uh, deployment. Is this normal? Is this special? It seems like this is you're paying quite a price this this for this trip. Uh. It's a uh, seven months boots on ground uh, for me. Uh, got plenty of shipmates that are here for a year, so uh, seven months is uh, yeah. seven months is okay. It's it's long. I'll look, I'm definitely looking forward to getting home, but uh, very important mission, uh, and honored to be here to do it. Yeah, w w last time we talked to you, we kind of felt bad. You, you you sounded a little down and a little homesick. Was I reading that correctly? Uh. It'll be good to be home, that's for sure. It's uh, important work here. Um, I'm glad to be part of it. There's lots of uh, lots of activity, lots of uh, important things going on. Uh, but I definitely will be looking forward to getting back to normal temperatures. The uh, heat index today was about 120. Mm. Last oh. week it hit 130. Mm. Uh, every day is summer here. Um, so, Doctor, being the only medical base, then you service the villages, villagers and everything in that area. Who do you actually tend to? No, we take care of all of the uh, four deployed U.S. military that are here. So uh, on base, uh, as I mentioned, there's about uh, four to 5,000 uh, soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marine here. And there's also uh, ships that are in the uh, waters off the east coast of Africa that we help support. So this is the only enduring uh, U.S. base in Africa, not just medical. I mean, not yeah. military base. Yeah. Uh, doctor, today is uh, June 6th. It's the 7th anniversary of the invasion of Normandy. Uh, special day in the armed services, I, I suspect. A huge day. Uh, it was celebrated here. Uh, the camp did a... Uh, Big run this morning at uh, zero six or five, actually five thirty. You got to get up and run early before it gets too hot. But this is a this is a good day to uh, you see somebody who have who may have served in uh, World War Two uh, walking around the streets of St. Louis or the metro area. This is a good time to shake their hand, pat them on the back, uh, give them a salute. Um, it was an impressive uh, day. One hundred and fifty six thousand troops. Uh, that day, five landing zones in the first hour of D-Day, the chance of becoming a casualty was one in two. They flew 10,500 uh, 10, aircraft, flew more than 15,000 sorties on D-Day. Um, unbelievable event. And so this is a great opportunity to say uh, thanks to, uh, to somebody who served in the... Uh, Europe or uh, Pacific theaters. What's amazing to me about that that invasion was they sent paratroopers, they sent boats, they sent ships, they sent soldiers, but they also sent photographers and medics. So it could have been you as a doctor who was landing there taking care of the injured while they were trying to land on the beaches. 156,000 uh, were part of the uh, invasion that night and that uh, day. 7,000 vessels. Um, 
those are some very, very brave people here. Yeah. So, uh, and there's just like the here, there's some very, very brave people here doing some very dangerous things. Like almost everything here is dangerous. So they're doing some very dangerous things in some very uh, austere environment, uh, very hot, challenging. We're a long way from uh, from anything, really. So um, it's, it's really, a, really a great honor to be serving with uh, shipmates, soldiers, Marines and airmen. How yeah. much how much time do you spend off the base dealing with the with the uh, citizens of Djibouti? Uh, up until the last couple of weeks, uh, we would uh, uh, go off uh, base and work in uh, uh, one of the uh, African hospitals with one of the Djibouti hospitals and do medical exchanges with them. Uh, and also, there was a French military hospital here too, so we did some medical exchanges with them. Uh, but we had an, a uh, there was a. Uh, a terrorist bombing here a couple weeks ago, and so uh, the base has been pretty locked down over the last couple of weeks. So we're sort of waiting to kind of get back to things to get back to normal. Dr. Jeffrey Lowell via Skype from uh, Djibouti, which uh, the technology is extraordinary. Doctor, you are a uh, true patriot fulfilling your duty to the country from everybody here in St. Louis. We wish you uh, a safe trip and a safe return, and until then, you'll be in our thoughts and prayers. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks to McGraw. Thanks, Kelly. We'll see you guys in August. You got it. Dr. Jeffrey Lowell via Skype, live from Djibouti here on the Big 550 KTRS. I'll tell you what, uh, seven months in Djibouti as a uh, Navy reservist, is um, that's, a tough, that's a tough stretch. Uh-huh. Um, but he's doing it. He's doing it with a smile on his face, and he's nice enough to check in from time to time. Yeah. Um, and then when he comes back, he'll, you know, uh, reintegrate but um you know it's just we love the fact that he checks in from time to time and um you know that's a that's a true american right there and we just have no idea what all of the men and women who do serve our country right sacrifices that they make that's exactly right the family mm-hmm. friends the lives they put on hold um and then we sit back here and we just criticize and throw bombs and yell at people and tell them how un-american they are while they're serving this country mm-hmm. 852, Big 550.